Hi, folks. Last week of July, we're looking at this, the 11 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. Basil Chapman here. Dow's up 78 at 31,976 after that sudden pullback on uh, Friday after making leg C. This is actually pretty good action. The day is young, but so far pretty good action. And we're looking at it holding the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. If it starts to break under 31,600, 500 this week, that's really not a good sign. Wow, if it can get to 32,300s, Anytime by Wednesday, that's fabulous action. Looking at the S&P, the S&P right now is trading up. Forget, we start off here at 9 o'clock with Tommy Jr. and his market kick off all the way to Tom Sr. closing the shows at uh, 3 to 4 o'clock every day. We're looking at the S&P up fractionally at 39.61. It really needs to get to the 407, 410 area within the next couple of days. We're looking at the QQQ coming back a little bit from the lows of the day. It's down only $1.90 at 300.12. Made a leg C, could be a peak C. And here you want to see 312 by Thursday or Friday of this week or higher. That's 12 points higher. That's a lot to go. IWM also turned around a little bit. It's up 40 cents at 179.92. Not bad. Leg C, looking at gold. Gold was down 10. Now it's down 13. It's really struggling. And that's surprising when you're looking at the, oh, I didn't do the dollar doing my show today. The dollar is... Um, down 13 ticks at 106.44. We, we've been long for years, and we did take about a week and a half ago, right almost at the top. We took just a little bit off the UUP again. We've only taken it off twice since we the low of 90.07. This is I, the dollar's digesting gains. The weekly chart is still looking very good. And if you're looking at crude oil, oh, I never even did crude oil. Gee, i got a lot to do. Tomorrow when I do my show, I'll do them all. Crude oil is up $1.25 at $95.95. It's in the lower range. It's just kind of stuck in the lower range. What's really important here is that the TLT never did that either. Oh, TLT is making a peak D, but that means yields are just stuck in the lower range, but they aren't breaking down. They're not breaking up. They're just kind of stuck. And with that said, uh, we're going to, I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pesavento. It should be a great show as always with Larry. Just terrific programming here. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. It's good to be back. I was away for a week. And uh, just in isolation, me and my wife, we decided we'd just go to Manhattan. That's an experience I'll talk about it over this coming week because it was really important. So with that said, I'm going to sign off and say thank you for being here. I'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned for great programming.